Hi guys, I am Uchekwa and I am back with Met XYZ and today I will be taking you through exponential functions. Exponential functions. With exponential functions, we have a standard equation of f at x. f at x is equal to ab to the exponent of x minus p plus q. Provided this equation here, it has condition that your b should never be equals to 1 and b should always be greater than 0. So these are the two conditions of using this equation. b should never be equals to 1 and b should always be greater than 0. Then A determined A from this equation determine which side of the asymptote your graph will lie at. For example, if A is greater than zero, then the graph will lie above the asymptote. Above the asymptote if your A is greater than zero. Then if your A is less than zero, then your graph will lie below the asymptote. And another thing that you have to take into consideration is Q which is uh, the equation of the horizontal asymptote. So your y, the, your horizontal asymptote is equals to q. This is your horizontal asymptote. With the graph of exp with, with exponential functions, we do not have the vertical asymptote. We only have the horizontal asymptote. Then from here, you must find your y-intercept by making x is equals to zero and also find your x-intercept by making y is equals to zero. Then let's just do a quick recap. The exponential graph that we will be dealing with, it has a standard equation of a, b to the exponent of x minus p plus q, of which the condition of using this equation, b should never be equals to one, and b should always be greater than zero. Then if your a is greater than zero, of which a determines uh, which side of the asymptote the graph will lie at. Then if it's greater than zero, the graph will lie above the asymptote. And if it's less than zero, then the graph will lie below the asymptote. Then uh, with exponential graph, we only have the horizontal asymptote, which is determined by Q. The horizontal asymptote is equals to Q. And then you must find your y-intercept by making x is equal to zero so that you can get uh, uh, another point in the graph. And also you must find your x-intercept by making y is equal to zero. Then another thing that you must do is to find another point by using x, another uh, uh, x value so that, and then after finding it, you must substitute it into the equation so that you can find the y value, for example, just to find another point in the graph. Then the quickest way and the easy way of finding the the, the x uh, value of the graph is to make x is minus p, which is here. By making x minus p is equal to zero, zero, then x will be equal to p. Then this point here, x equals to p, you take p and substitute it back to the equation so that you can find the y value and that will be your another point of, of, of in the graph so that you can be able to draw uh, a, a very good graph with a, with a nice shape. Now let's just look at a, an example and see how we're going to apply this. So we are given an equation f at x is equal to 4, 2 to the exponent of x uh, minus 2 plus 1. Then remember with exponential function, our standard equation is a, uh, a, b, sorry, let me just make space there. Our standard equation is a, b to the exponent of x minus p plus q. So this is our standard equation for exponential functions. Then from here, the first thing that we must do is to look at a, of which if a is greater than zero, then we know that our graph will lie above the asymptote if, your, if our a is greater than zero. Then the next thing that we must do is to find the horizontal asymptote of which y is equal to p, is equal to q, I mean to say, uh, my, my mistake here, it's equal to q, of which from, from the equation that we are given is equals to one. Then this one is our horizontal asymptote. Horizontal asymptote. Remember with exponential graphs, we do not have the vertical asymptote, we only have the horizontal asymptote. Then from here, we must find your y-intercept 
by making x is equals to zero and from this graph we can see that from this equation uh, if we have to make x equals to zero then that will be f at zero it's equals to four two uh, that will be two x zero minus two that will be negative two plus one of which that will be two so our y intercept it will be zero is to two that that will be our y intercept then to find our x intercept we must look at a and q of which if a is greater than zero and q is also greater than zero of which we can see from this equation that we are given then we do not have any x intercept because the graph is above the x intercept then from here we must find another point uh, in the x intercept by remember i told you that the easy way of doing it is making x minus p is equals to zero of which p in this equation is two then x minus two is equals to zero of which um, x would be equals to two then we take x equals to two and substitute it into this original equation so that we can find the y coordinate of x equals to two then if our if we have to substitute it into here that would be four two it will be two minus two which will be zero and then two to the exponent of zero that would be one multiplied by four that would be four plus one that would be five then we now we know that if x is equal to two then y is equal to five we have our coordinates um, of another point in the graph which is two is to five then just a quick recap uh, the graph that we are dealing with is a, a, a standard form of a b x minus p plus q of which the conditions remember b should never be equals to one and b should always be greater than zero of which from this equation that we are given it does fit the criteria because b is equals to two it's greater than zero and it's also not equals to one then from here we must look at a of which a determines uh, on which side of the asymptote the graph will lie and if a is greater than zero then we know that our graph will lie above the asymptote then the next thing that we must look at is the, our asymptote of which is the horizontal asymptote y is equals to q of which q from this equation that we are given is equals to one then our horizontal asymptote is equals to one then we find our x intercept y intercept i mean to say by making x equals to zero of which we found two that means that our coordinate is zero is to two then to find our x intercept unfortunately for this graph we do not have any x intercept since our graph lies uh, if, if, since our a is greater than zero and our q is greater than zero that means that our graph lies above the x axis then we find we, we then find another point in the uh, using x minus p is equals to zero of which p from this equation is equals to two then from then we substitute that two into this equation so that we can get the point in the y axis of which we got five then the points that we'll use to draw with the graph is um the asymptote which is y is equals to one our horizontal asymptote and then we'll have zero is to two which is our y intercept and another point from the graph which is two is to five then uh let's just uh draw the graph and see how it will look like all right okay let me just erase that too all right uh the points that we have for 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 for, for to draw this graph is zero is to two which is the y intercept and another point in the graph which is two is to five and our horizontal asymptote which is y is equals to one then to draw the graph remember guys to always name your axis this one is our y axis this one is our y and this one is positive this one is our y as well and it's the negative side of the y axis then we must have our sorry guys let me just take it a bit down This one is our uh, x axis, and this side that I'm drawing now is our negative x axis. This one is our negative x axis, and this one is our positive x axis. Okay, and this one is our zero is to zero. This is one, this is two, three, and four. This is one, two, three, four, five. Then negative one, negative two, negative three negative four 
negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. You will draw a better graph because right now I'm not drawing it into scale. I'm just showing you a rough sketch of how the graph will look like after we have drawn it. Then we start by drawing our asymptote and we show that by using it by, by drawing just dotted lines. Our asymptote, our horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 1, which we just show it by drawing dotted lines. All right. Uh, it's just a rough sketch. It's not drawn to scale. Just to show you uh, the shape of the graph, how it will look like after you have drawn it. Then our y-intercept is 0 is to 2, which is right there. Remember, your graph should never touch the asymptote. Then our graph, whenever we draw it, it has just always have to be above the asymptote and never touch it. Can you see about the x-intercept? Uh, you can see now see that we we can never for this graph we do not have the y x intercept because the our asymptote is above the uh, x axis and remember uh, no matter what uh, the graph should never touch the asymptote that means that the graph can never be that side all right then this is our y intercept and another point in the graph remember that point it's two is to five which is right there then we just connect these two points it will be there we go something like that it's just that uh, i didn't it's not drawn to scale but this is how the graph would look like it should always look like that something like that then you can see that your graph lies above the the asymptotes because our a is greater than zero all right uh, just a quick recap guys of what we are doing remember that in your equation you must always make sure that b is not equal to zero and b is always greater than zero and another thing you must remember that with the exponential graphs we only have the horizontal asymptote which is equals to q and another thing that you must always take into consideration is your a a gives you an idea of how the graph will look like after you have drawn it for example if maybe we draw a graph right now and it was below here we will know that it's wrong because our a already gives that gave us an idea that if a is greater than zero then uh, our graph should lie above the asymptote then when you draw your graph remember to always name your axis and also you must know that your graph should never touch the asymptote then the first thing that you must draw is your line of asymptote of which you show it by just drawing dotted lines and make sure that your graph never touches the asymptote after then then you can just connect the points uh, of your graph and that will be your graph i hope you guys enjoyed today's session and remember to subscribe uh, to Maths XYZ so that you can get daily notification when we upload videos and also share with your friends uh, uh, so that they can get help uh, when we need it. Thank you.